everybody, welcome back to the channel and the next episode of my uh, Seven Days to Die Alpha 20 Darkness Falls series. It is the morning of day 42. We just went through a brutal horde and screamer horde and insanity. So uh, we just come out the other end and it is... Um, we were going to go and take off today and go down and do the... Uh, the bunker for Eve, but we just don't have the ability to do that. I got to take stock of stuff and probably going to spend today moving all this stuff over to the new base and then make the decision on whether or not we are going to, um, yeah, I don't know, whether or not we're going to go ahead and do, um, we got to put some stuff in here too. Um, God, I think, man. Whether or not we're going to um, rebuild our, like our base over at the other side for Horde or if we're going to fix the one here. Where's our shotgun? Did I not put it in there? I'm sure I put the shotgun in there. Uh, anyway, we got to take all the stuff that we're going to need for Horde base over to our new place. So let's just put anything for sale uh, in here for now. Then we'll move all of our stuff over. There's a pump shotgun. Um, put those guys in there. Yeah, we'll move everything over to our um, new house, including all the stuff for um, Horde Night. That way, if we are having the Horde at our new place, then we've got all our gear with us. Take the die with me, I guess. All right, let me get this stuff sorted. We'll get on the bike and get the hell out of here. All right, well, we got everything out of the main chest here. I put these guys down here just because we're going to break them up before we go. There's like three different types, so that can just all go into plastic. So there's five of them. We got 25 plastic out of it. That's pretty good. Uh, you're fine. You're fine. I think we should probably take this with us. Mm, let's leave it here. Just in case. I mean... Yeah, because I don't want to have to rewire anything. Now you're good. That food's all gone. This thing should be just fine. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Now, is there anything here I can just match up and take with me? Not really. Oops, wrong way. This way. Bunch of ammo. Alright, we'll take the... We'll take these because we're going to take them apart. What else do we have room for? Actually, we don't need that. Let's leave these guys here. We got a few slots here. We got to go down and put some stuff in the bike too. Actually, let's go do that first. Actually, you know what? Before we do anything else, let's grab a few of you. And then we need to grab one of these guys. Before I forget. All right, so yeah. How are we doing for health? Almost there. We should have a max of 260. We just got to get our wellness up a little higher. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, we'll come back and grab those. What can we grab out of here? The silencer we'll probably use. That can come back. We want to bring those with us. That we want to bring with us. The bullet tips we want to bring with us. I think that's probably it. Nothing else can come with us. Um, don't need the sewing kits, so let's take that. So we can, Well, yeah, we'll make a turret. Um, they don't need one duct tape. Let's bring you back. Let's, uh, man, I'm telling you, we can leave those four there. We'll bring that back with us. We can repair our shotgun with it. And we don't need you. Uh, what else can we bring with us? We gotta bring the hat. Well, I don't know. Take that with us. All right, let's get downstairs, kill the zombies down there, load the bike up, come back up, grab a few more things. And then get out of here. It sounds like there's a bunch of them down here. Anybody out here? No? I'm interested to see. That's nice. Interested to see... How many levels we got last night? There's our bike. Drop you down. 
Should just be able to gas you up with a bunch of gas. Shouldn't have much left now. Uh, as much as can fit in there will go in there. Okay, not bad. Let's go get some more stuff. I think we want to get as much weapons and ammo as we can. Well, this is in the bottom chest. Let's just start taking stuff chest by chest. We'll grab all the ammo. Grab that because we can use it to repair stuff with. Grab those guys. Actually, take this stuff. That's more important. And then... What? Legs, probably. Good enough. Let's get home. Alright, well here we are. Let's get this stuff inside. Oh boy. So we gotta decide where the horde base is gonna be. I don't think we can successfully keep it here. I think we gotta move it to, to a new, new location. As much as I wanted to try and have it in here. Uh, we're gonna have to avoid that, I think. Alright, so let's just put as much of this stuff away as we can. Alright, so I should have most of the stuff here put away. I got some stuff in the bike still I gotta bring up. We gotta clear out the zombies downstairs because there's a bunch now. So we needed about a thousand concrete blocks. We're at about... Whew, we're close. There's another hundred here. Yeah, we're very, very close. And I think we got uh, over a thousand in here, right? Nice. Okay, all my stone is back at the old place, though. So, that's another 200 blocks there. Okay, let's get those going. So, I think we've got enough now to successfully build a new base, which we're going to have to try and do. Alright, let's kill these idiots. God. Man, feral sense. It's kind of fun, because it keeps you on your toes, right? You really need to be constantly looking over your shoulder. Okay, let's grab the stuff out of the bike. And then we'll go back and grab more. Uh, storage, yep. I think we can probably get some more coil stuff going too here. Um, we got a few batteries, so we'll take stock of our ammo. I think we've got all of our coil stuff here, so let's just put anything belong in there? No, I'll put the extra multi-tool in there. Oh, this is our first one, isn't it? Is that our first laser multi-tool? I think it is. Yeah, my offline playthrough. It's like I got so many of them, it's... You can't sell them, that's the worst part about it, is you just can't sell them. So they're, they just accumulate, right? Okay, we're going to merge these two. Um, so what do we got here? We've got these guys we're going to open up. Then we got these guys we're going to open up. And where are... I thought we had, we do, we got that buckshot there, tips, metal, okay, that can go in, that's going to get sold, so we can put you in there, you in there, this is staying with us, that gets sold, that gets sold, that stays with us, where's our wood? Back at the old place, there's the money that goes there, we just need wood here, okay, Getting sorted. Uh, that can go in there because we're going to be using that later with those. And then you can go down here. Alright, let's get these things opened up. Uh, if you don't know, I'm sure everybody knows, but if you hit um, click open and hit A at the same time, you can open these like ridiculously fast. So. It's really the best way to do it. If you actually have carpal tunnel, it might not be good for you, but uh, if you don't, like I don't, then you shouldn't have to worry too much about it. I don't have carpal tunnel. I just have nerve problems. That's way worse. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I had carpal tunnel, because I, I, there's 
things you can do to alleviate it, but you can't fix my nerve problems. Oh no. Can't be that simple. I wish. Um, yeah, it's brutal. Anyway, um, let's go here. Yeah, we should be able to make... There's our other advanced forge. We want to make... Uh, many coil rounds as we can. What are we missing for that? Coil batteries. So let's make... Um, 500 of you. And then what do we need for... We just need iron, I think, for that coil shotgun rounds. Pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah. Get those going. For now. Now we're going to make sl slugs and stuff later. Uh, that can go in there. And you guys can all go back in there. The advanced forge, temporarily. Uh, let's put it right here. Okay. Now, um... Do we have everything we need for the Advanced Forge? We have that, that, and that. We don't need to make ammo in it. So we can just make, like, cement or steel or something in there. Okay. We get to merge these two. Gonna need some repair kits. I have some wood in here. Oh, that's where all my wood went to. Got merged in there. Alright, do we need anything else out of here? Um... Let's grab that. So it really seemed last night like the first third of the evening was simple. We didn't have much to do, just standing around waiting for the zombies to do what they were doing. And then third of the way through, shit hit the fan. So we need to make sure that... Um, we keep that in mind for when we're building the next horde base. We need a backup plan, I think, too, as well. Because we don't have one with this base. If it dies, we're like running out of town on foot is really what we're, what we're doing. Okay, let's go back and pick up the rest of the crap at the uh, old base. Man, the day's almost over. So I think here's what we do tomorrow. Um... We're going to start working on the new horde base. I'm going to choose a spot for it. I'll just shoot it get out the pot. I'll find a spot. We'll make start making the base. Then, if we don't get a horde tonight, great. We keep working on it, try and get it finished, finished for the next horde. If we do get a horde tonight, then we'll stop working on the base and head over to the old base, get it fixed as best we can with some materials. Well, not going to use too, under, too much materials. We'll use some materials to get the old base fixed up. Now that we know that behemoths are showing up, then what we need to do is either... Because I don't think... I think what we need to do is make sure we have three junk sledges. And I need, I need to work on... Tonight I'm going to work on getting some mods going. Because we don't have a lot of mods in a lot of our stuff, and I probably should be spending time doing that. I haven't bothered because we really haven't needed it too much. Um, but I think now more than ever we need the power sledge. Because now that we can make tier 3 mods, we're going to do that. We need the power sledge, we need the rad remover, um, blessed metal mod. Um, I got to take stock of how many uh, pages we have too. Maybe we hit Bob up on the way back and buy as many blue pages as he's got. Um, so we can get as much on those turrets as possible. I'm going to try and craft some dart ammo tonight. So our junk turrets will have dart ammo. And then when the horde ends, the big problem, that was me moving, with the horde ending was this, the potential for screamers to show up. But if we can clean it up with a spear and a pair of junk turrets, right, we can go out in the walkway, we'll pull up one or two of the sledges, right, and then throw down one or two junk turrets using the um, uh, darts, which I think basically quadruples the damage of the turret. It's just, it, it does so much more damage with, it, with the darts in it, apparently. So we'll use a couple of junk turrets 
with darts in them to just clean up the horde, right? We'll just sit there and let them do the work. And we'll, we'll have the spear on us, you know? And we'll hit, hit whatever we can with the spear. We'll let them, let's let, let those turrets do the work, you know? Okay, so if we have to come back here, what do we need to do? Not much. It's just mostly replacing concrete blocks. I think what we also need to do, though, is replace those corners. And I think we're probably going to want a few of the blocks around where we're standing to at least steal. If we can get them to stainless steel, great. If we can't, well, we can't. All right, so what do we got left here? Some of that stuff. Some of that stuff. Let's go put that down in the bike. Yeah, so I think that... Um, well, yeah, it's got a... Do we have a lot of... Oh, we only had 700 and something gas. Um, but yeah, it's just the blocks. We upgrade around where we are to steal. Because, I mean, the end of the night there, those cops were spitting and just completely destroying the uh, blocks around us. Um, that was stuff to sell. Which we can probably go... Yeah, we're going to go to Bob anyway. So we want to take the coil stuff with us. Let's leave what we don't need behind. Um, don't need yuck. I don't need feathers. Let's see if we can keep that with us. Coil shotgun receivers. Coil shotgun barrel. I mean, the, see, the thing about this stuff is that it's... Uh, I'm going to scrap a bunch of this. We need that for later. Pairs we don't necessarily need. Do we really care about these dies? Like, honestly? Don't need the... Re that one. Coil gun grip. Parts. Don't need the pistol barrel. The rest of this stuff I think we can probably just scrap. Or we can... How much are these worth? 525. Actually, that's pretty darn good. Um, shotgun parts. What are you worth? 630. We can sell those. 840. We can sell that. We want to keep these though, I think. Can't get them in the uh, thing. What can we leave behind? Don't need a sniper receiver. We can just scrap it. We'll take that. Oh, we can merge a bunch of this stuff too. All right, well, we were able to merge a few things. Um, let's move these two around. Not a lot though. Oh, we got a few here we can merge. That. Let's just um, scrap all this stuff because we're never going to use it. Actually, it's not because we can probably sell those. Shit. What are you worth? 126? Not really a lot. You're worth a fair bit. We only can sell in lots of five, so we'll scrap those. Don't need the sticks. Uh, what else here? Can merge these two. Probably shouldn't have done that, but I did it anyway. Okay, I think we can leave the workbenches behind. Looks like a buzzard broke... Something broke in here. Unless it was spit from... Uh, it couldn't have been spit from outside. Something got in here. Those sticks we don't need. Okay, nothing there. It's just here now. Alright, what are you all worth? That could probably sell. That I'll sell. What are you worth? 140, 210. It's not bad. There's crickets. Um, oops. Was that an M4? Yeah, I want to hang on to that. Auto rifle barrels, sure. Saves me oil making them. Combat shotgun, yes. Generic rifle barrels. How much are you worth? 245. Let's see if we can sell that. Sure. Alright. Let's go to Bob. Man, it's kind of weird building like... Kind of like a new horde base on day 42. You'd think... Well, I mean, we're not... Here's the thing is, we're not playing on max zombies, right? So, it's not... We're not really that... Worse off, if we were playing on max zombies, it would be a different story, right? We would definitely have to have a 
a good base by now. But I mean, eh, do we, like, when you don't have a lot of zombies coming at you, it's not such a big, like, you don't have to spend a lot of resources. So it's, it's one of the reasons why, when I knew I couldn't have maxed out zombie hordes, um, which is what I normally play on a regular um, Seven Days to Die, but I can't do it in Darkness Falls because it just lags my game so bad. Like, you can already see how bad I'm lagging out here. And in regular seven days, this doesn't happen. Like, it does, it does if I'm near a city, downtown, it's brutal. It's the same as this. But, um, on Horde Night, it's not anything like Darkness Falls is. So, and then, of course, later on, when it's all demons and stuff, my machine would just grind to a halt. So, I can't play that way, which is why this, you know, it's Horde every two to four days. That way, it's like, I always have to be up on like ammo production and be ready to, to fight and it makes it just that much more difficult I guess tries to keep everything in balance I guess is the best way to put it all right I, I completely forgot we were going to Bob's I was like on my way home so I'm actually heading over to Bob's now oh you know and you just how how could you forget you were just you just said you were going to go to Bob's man it's funny the more I learn about like ADHD and being on Spectrum, it's like the more I realize how much I don't want to say my my youth was robbed from me, because it really wasn't but if I knew back then what I know now my life would be like completely different because understanding why I was doing things the way I was doing them and I, you know, why I felt so different than everybody else, it would just go a long way to like, you know anyway Let's just sell this stuff. Uh, you can have all that. Take as much of that as you can. And as much of that as you can. There's another level. We never did check our levels for today. Uh, we want to do that. Um, right, we were going to sell all the AR receivers. 630. A couple clubs. We're going to keep all that stuff. These guys we were going to sell. I hear you out there. These guys. We're going to sell all that. Um, yeah, the shotgun stuff, I mean, I don't know. Probably not going to need those. Sniper can go. Winchester rifles can go. I mean, it's probably better if I, like, build those and then sell them. But, on, let me just be honest, am I going to do that? No. I hear you guys out there. Generic rifle barrels can go. Combat shotgun we receive, we want to keep. Auto rifle we want to keep. Pistol parts, though, can go. Rifle parts can go. So we made some good coin. That can go. I, I have to kill these guys. Alright, so that's not too bad. There's probably some stuff in the bike, but I'll worry about that at another time. Generic schematics, buying all those. And generic schematics are buying all those. Good thing I didn't forget those. Now, there's probably something else I'm forgetting, but... These guys are annoying me. You don't get it daily. Dude, it's the biggest lie. It's the biggest lie ever. I'll take this one rock though, because we need that. It's an assembly line of death. Although, I will take this rock. Because we need stuff. Fifteen lead. Oh boy. We still got a bunch at home though. So we're gonna have to make tips. Ah, I want to make armor piercing tips, but I, we're not at a point where we really need them right now. It's gonna be helpful once the new base is built because the armor piercing tips will just shoot straight through everybody in a line. I'm still trying to decide how long I want that first walkway to be. Like, normally I do it maybe like four or five blocks long. So there isn't enough zombies on there to really shoot at me when I'm shooting straight down through them. The longer you make it, the more chance, like, there'll be a greater number of zombies on there, the more chance they'll stop and throw fireballs at you or spit at you or whatever. The shorter it is, the less chance they have to see you and kill you. Or shoot at you, that is. Actually, we'll put the bike up here because this will be coming down tomorrow. Right here. We're going to have to go find a, a horde base tomorrow. Are you still over there? 
You're still there, eh? Here, let me help you out. There you go. Oops. What do you got? 13 bucks, huh? Oh, man. I'll take that. So I've been watching Glock uh, 9 plays Darkness Fall series. And, of course, this will probably be seen, like, seven days after I recorded it. But uh, he's doing okay. But, man, having to build pillars to fight, like, um, the, the zombies from those... Uh, what do you call it? Search missions? Not search missions, but like when you're digging up uh, buried treasures and stuff. That's just bad. Uh, it's just bad. I know he has to do it, but it's like if you do it, if you're doing things right, you shouldn't have to do that at all. I'm not saying he's doing things wrong, but I mean, it's not. Anyway, he's worrying that they're going to be like hitting him and killing him, and I get that, but you should be able to outpace them. Like, even the, uh, the big, uh, what are they called? The big boys, the radiated big boys. The only time that you have to worry about it, I find, those ones are when you get to the, uh, um, Tier 4 and Tier 5. Tier 4 is not so bad, but Tier 5, when they're, when they're all, um, when they're all, uh, what do you call it? Um, shit, I got no room. Yeah, when they're all uh, demons, that's a different story. That's like drop drop a load in your pants. But there's only five of them. Like it's like at that point in time, if you're doing front running against demons, and you got the right gear, there's only five. Like I mean, you'd have probably faced more than that by that point in time, you know. All right, I'm gonna get some stuff going tonight. I gotta get this stuff sorted too. I need to put down more storage here. We've got a few more in here, I think. Got three more. So I'm going to get this stuff put down um, and get everything sorted that I can. You can go in here. And then we'll pick things up tomorrow. Like I said, we're going to try to work on a horde base first. Um, we'll start working on the horde base. If we get a horde tomorrow, we go fix the old one. We're going to deal with the horde there. Uh, we'll have to upgrade part of it to steel. It'll be a waste of resources, but we'll have to do it. And then we can come back and finish the base here depending on, you know, when the next horde's showing up. But I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know it was rather short, but what can you do when you got, like, ridiculous screamer hordes and stuff? Um, yeah, I'm going to leave the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.